Hey guys, the hero we are introducing today is Murad, the Wanderer. As an assassin, Murad's job is to nuke down the squishy targets on the enemy team. Since another dimension and temporal turbulence can make Murad temporarily invincible, Murad can use these abilities to dodge enemy abilities and damage. In addition, the third part of Thorn of Time allows Murad to return to the starting location, making him even more untraceable and helping him to get out of combats alive after assassinating the enemy backline. Want to catch Murad? You'll have to beat time! Passive Rift On Murad's fourth consecutive normal attack within three seconds, ineffective against buildings, he gains 5% attack damage and releases the seal on temporal turbulence for five seconds. Rift is the premise to unlock the ultimate, therefore try purchasing items with attack speed in order to unlock temporal turbulence quickly. Notice that the four consecutive normal attacks don't have to all happen in three seconds. As long as the time intervals between normal attacks are less than three seconds, Rift will still be triggered upon the fourth consecutive normal attack. First ability, Thorn of Time. Murad leaps forward, dealing physical damage to enemies in his path and stunning them. He can leap again within five seconds of the last cast and returns to his starting location when used for a third time within five seconds. Thorn of Time has three parts. The first two are forward leaps, which can pass through walls. The third part is returning to his starting location. When Murad is being chased by enemies, he can use Thorn of Time to leap forward twice. If enemies persist in chasing him, he can juke them by returning to the starting point. Second Ability – Another Dimension Murad creates a barrier that deals physical damage to all enemies within it, also deals physical damage to those crossing the barrier and reduces their movement speed by 90% for 2 seconds. In addition, the barrier lowers the target's armor for 3 seconds. Murad cannot be targeted or attacked while creating the distortion. Notice that another dimension can lower enemy's armor. Therefore, crossing the barrier is even more dangerous than standing still for enemies within it. Since Murad is invincible when putting down the barrier, the ability can be used to dodge enemy abilities and damage. Ultimate Temporal Turbulence Murad enters a temporal rift unleashing five attacks on enemies in the target area, dealing physical damage per attack. While in the temporal rift, Murad cannot be targeted or attacked. This ability can only be used after Murad's passive opens the seal, which will close again after use. Temporal Turbulence is a powerful ability, which has a rather short cooldown. However, the condition to unlock the ultimate is quite tricky, too. After all, not many enemies will stand still and wait for Murad to hit four consecutive normal attacks. Therefore, Murad should take advantage of creeps, jungle monsters, or even bosses to unlock the seal for temporal turbulence. The recommended combo for Murad is to unlock temporal turbulence by normal attacking jungle monsters or creeps then use Thorn of Time to charge into enemies, followed by Temporal Turbulence and Another Dimension, then return to the starting location by casting Thorn of Time again. As a mid to late game assassin, Murad should remember to take Sage buffs in the early game in case of running out of mana and failing to cast abilities in critical times. After reaching level 4, Murad should help out allies when Temporal Turbulence is ready. With the control and slowing effect of Thorn of Time and Another Dimension, few enemies can escape from Murad. In the mid and late game, it is not a tough mission for a well-geared Murad to solo bosses. The buffs from slaying the Dark Slayer and the Abyssal Dragon can greatly improve the damage of all allies. In battles, Murad can easily be focused by the enemy team and get bursted down before even touching the enemy carries. Therefore, Murad should unlock Temporal Turbulence with Jungle Monsters and Creeps first, before casting Thorn of Time and Temporal Turbulence onto enemies. When an enemy is caught alone, Murad can use Thorn of Time to approach the enemy, then cast another dimension to encircle the enemy. If the enemy tries to run away, he will be slowed when crossing the barrier. This way, Murad can easily normal attack the enemy and unlock Temporal Turbulence to secure a kill. Thanks for watching today's episode on Murad. See you next time.